laser beam of truth and today I'd like to take a look at the Sun um, this is pretty pretty uh, exciting what's going on well I don't know if you want to call it exciting or not or if you want to be scared or what um, honestly uh, one of the biggest things I'm concerned about going forward in the next year to two years um, is an SHTF type scenario resulting from a serious coronal mass ejection or solar flare from the Sun um, I've made this very clear in some of my other videos talking about what I feel are the greatest threats and um, this is definitely one of them. Uh, to illustrate what I'm referring to, I'd like to show you guys a couple of different pieces of video um, and highlight to you uh, where the sun is at today. Now just in case you haven't heard, there's a couple of pieces of information that are kind of circling, circulating around the news and around the internet right now. Uh, one, Patriot Space and a couple of the other um, more ardent uh, and, if you will, more kind of underground conspiracy theory guys. You know, I, I like to try and stick with stuff that's readil readily verifiable uh, and stuff that I can actually look up on the internet. I don't like to really get into the stuff that's um, super <laughs> um, tinfoil hatish, if you will. <laughs> uh, but there is a rumor circulating right now that... Uh, that there's a GM plant in Michigan, which, by the way, I live in Michigan, uh, that is has basically taken all of its workers off of the camshaft line and is having them heat treat shelters that are being driven in in trucks. Uh, and the truckers aren't allowed to go anywhere. They have to sit there and wait while the trucks are loaded, and they're not allowing any camera phones or anything like that going on inside. Um, and that They've basically shut down production on a GM assembly line where these guys normally make camshafts and they're, they're, they're having them heat treat these shelters. Well, that's nothing I can verify. And if there is a way that any of you guys that are watching this video can verify that information, I definitely would be interested to hear about it. Um, however, that being said, that is not what this video is about. Um, I will address concerns that I have going forward about the plausibility of that scenario as it relates to what's happening with the sun right now. Um, just to kind of give you an, a brief scientific description of the solar cycle, the sun goes through cycles. Every 11 years it reaches a solar maximum. By the way, the last time solar maximum happened was around the time the terrorist attacks happened in 2011. And so 2012, or 2001, excuse me, and in 2012, therefore, is the end of the next um, peaking cycle, if you will. So um, the last time we had any real significant solar flare activity um, was around 2006. And from 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, the sun was in what we call the, the opposite of solar maximum. It was in the solar minimum. Okay, So uh, that can explain a lot of the reasons why we've had some really cold winters the last few years because sun activity has been docile and the sun hasn't been putting out a lot of uh, radioactive you know, coronal mass ejections into space targeting us, for example. Um, so, and that really does affect our weather, uh, a lot more so than carbon emissions and, and the like. So um, what I'd like to show you here is a series of videos. Now this particular video is uh, from 2009 and this is um, actually some some footage that was actually taken prior to 2009 uh, it's basically talking about how uh, this scientist was on the ver talking about a global cooling event um, not a global warming event and he was mostly worried that the sun had become so docile with such minimal activity that we were really going to experience a cooling event on earth so let's just kind of watch this for a second solar activity diminishes researchers predict another ice age Dr. Kenneth Tapping is worried about the sun. Solar activity comes in regular cycles. Okay, he's just going to go on and explain that in a computer voice. Uh, but these pictures are basically showing, you know, just to take a look at them. Make note, there are no big, huge, roiling black or bright spots. By the way, the black spots are actually the, the real troublesome sunspots. You'll see some bright spots um, in some of these images. Answers. Contradict it, at least. And the spots really aren't what we're worried about so much as the big black ones. The black ones are spots that a coronal mass ejection has already left from. Uh, and if you see a black spot in more or less the center here, that means that it was very possibly pointing right at us. Obviously, if there's a big black spot out here or, or up here, then it went up in that way. But if it's at the center, 
then it's like looking right down the barrel of a gun and that's where we're in the danger zone okay so um, that was a few years ago when, when we were in solar minimum now let's take a look at um, last year solar sunspots this was from early 2010 and this video is basically um, just we have a, a, a regular video and then it goes into uh, the ultraviolet view that we were just viewing before that's a sunspot right there that little black spot um, there there's one right there and, and then it's gonna switch and it's gonna go into the ultraviolet and there's the ultraviolet there's the black sunspot and there's that other one that we were watching spin around so um, I guess realistically it actually depends on which which uh, view you're viewing it in uh, the black ones uh, in the regular view like right here become the bright one you know the bright spots in the ultraviolet view here so uh, let's take a look though and this is where it gets slightly concerning uh, there was just a report out that um, that we basically uh, just saw the largest sunspot activity since 2006 uh, so the largest sunspot just erupted off of the Sun and this was a video that was taken just a few days ago on Tuesday of this week and as you can see I mean we have sunspots here 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 they're all over the place this is just a quick seven second video and if you notice right there uh, if we go back just a second here, I want you to see this. Boom, right there. This one was pointing right at us, and we did get a solar flare. It wasn't a seriously huge solar flare. There, there it went right there again. It's actually right there. Um, that is what we're most concerned of. Now, what I'm concerned about is the fact that here we are, and it's, uh, 2011 beginning of 2011 uh, we haven't even reached uh, you know we're not even in 2012 yet um, so there is a good possibility that we could actually experience a series of serious solar storms if we get into uh, uh, basically some serious solar weather that sends not just one but several solar super storms at us and we're going to be in some serious trouble um, and, and that very well may be why you know if that rumor is circulating that's true about um, the heat protected shelters that may be what that's for you know I don't know um, I can tell you that um, a solar flare does have the ability to to start fires on earth um, it, it just has to have enough energy to get through our ionosphere and our magnetosphere um, and, and still be intact. Um, one thing is for sure though, um, we should start seeing some serious northern lights if uh, we start getting some of these solar flares coming at us. I, I have not noticed any lately, but um, I'm kind of surprised about that. It seems like we should be seeing, seeing a lot of aurora borealis with, uh, with, all these, uh, with all this sunspot activity. So anyways, um, I just wanted to point that out to everybody. Um, Feel free to comment below. I'm curious to know about what your thoughts are about the sun's activity uh, accelerating. And uh, also, if, if you come across any other videos later than, uh, you know, today is the uh, 18th of February, um, please feel free to, you know, make your own video and attach a video response to this video if you, uh, if you happen to capture anything from uh, Soho uh, that's, that's something to be concerned with. Um, I'd like to know about it. So... Uh, God bless you all. Take care. Laser Beam of Truth, signing out.